What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and my computer sounds like it's about to take off. Sorry if you can hear that whirring sound in the background, but today, despite the loud computer, we are jumping into some project life, and this is an episode of Scrap Stash Sat Day on a Sunday, because I started this series when I uploaded on a Sat Day, and we're just going to roll with it. Because Scrap Stash Sunday doesn't, it just doesn't roll off the, the tongue the same way that Saturday does. But we're using our scraps and that's the most important thing. And I don't know about you, but I have a large collection of six by six paper pads that look like this. They're half chopped up. There's full pages, there's half pages, there's punched in pages. And I want to try and use them because they're not something that I typically reach for. I think just because sometimes they are a bit chaotic to flip through and, uh, you know, there's not papers of the same size. So my goal for the next few months is to really try to make a chunk into some of my 6x6 paper pads and maybe, just maybe, actually finish one. Has anyone actually ever finished a 6x6 paper pad? I chatted about this recently um, in a Patreon video. I've been filming a few 6x6 paper pad things there too. And I don't think I've ever actually finished one. I think there were two paper pads that I may have used half of and then I took out the rest and de-stashed them to a friend, uh, the rest of the, the inner pages. But I don't think personally I've ever actually used all of the pages. So that is my goal, uh, particularly for this paper pad, because I think I have two of them. <laughs> oh, dear. So this spread uh, is from 2019 and the photos are from 2019. Uh, I'm catching up and I'm now up to scrapping 2020, which is exciting. But I, this was the first time that Aaron's dad and stepmom, uh, they came down and they met baby Violet. She was only, I think she was a week old, maybe, maybe two weeks. So she was very teeny and we hadn't seen them for ages. We, um, they lived several hours away and we weren't able to drive up while I was pregnant um, just because I wasn't feeling too good and not good to be in a car for, for four, actually it works out as seven hours when you've got a toddler because you have to make 50,000 stops. Uh, so it was very nice to see them. And Archie just loves spending time with his nonny and his pappy. And I love this photo of him just giggling. Um, he was bringing out all of his favourite books, which at the time were everything and anything to do with dinosaurs. Uh, he still loves dinosaurs, but this particular stage, he was deep in the dinosaur thing. Uh, so I've got this little cut apart sheet from one of the six by six paper pads that are just hanging out on my desk and it says, hey there, honey. Um, and I just thought that was a really cute little phrase. And it's the type of thing that um, Archie's nonny would say. She's, um, she's American and I can just hear her saying, hey there, honey, in her American accent in my head. Lisa, if you're watching this. You, this is so something that you would definitely say. Um, so I just thought it was the, the perfect little bit to pop on there. And I have to admit, these cut apart pages in the 6x6 paper pads, I really, I have a love-hate relationship with them. I love them because they're perfect for uh, little ephemera spots. But I also hate them because I avoid them and I... I struggle with once I start cutting into them, what to do with all the flappy bits that are left over. Uh, and so my new approach, particularly I did with this particular page, is that after this video finished being filmed, I immediately cut up all of the little um, leftover cut aparts like that cherry and that happy Valentine's Day. And I put them, I have this little container that sits on my craft desk or on the top of my rascog. And it's, it's basically the lazy location for ephemera. It's all the little bits of ephemera that I don't want to put away. <laughs> and um, there might be leftover bits of sticker sheets that, you know, have only got a couple of stickers left. I'll cut them out and put them in there. And it's been really useful to use up some of my older stash. Um, so if you are like me and you're struggling either with these little cut apart pieces that just hang around forever um, or if you've got sticker sheets that only have you know a couple left on them 
try cutting them up and putting them in a specific container on your desk. And what I usually do, I, I won't say always because I don't always, but I try to 80% of the time probably check through this little container um, before I reach for, you know, my newer, prettier sticker sheets um, that I'm obsessed with. So it's, it's a good way to, to make the older stash accessible um, because I find that's half the problem. Like these six by six paper pads, they've been buried away right at the bottom of a shelf where it's very easy to neglect them. Uh, and I think, I, I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments, are you a, it has to be in your site in order to use it? Or are you someone that likes your embellishments packed away um, and you remember that they're there and you don't neglect them? I am definitely a neglector. If I can't see it, it's, there's a good chance it won't get used for quite, quite a long time until I do a stash dive like this. So this card is actually one that I made uh, previously. This was a journaling card that I made in a Patreon video, I think last year. Um, I made a whole heap of journaling cards in advance so that they could, they had that DIY embellishment feel, but I also had them ready to go. I didn't have to make them on the spot. Um, and they've been really handy to, to use as well because Sometimes I, I really love the look of a DIY journaling card, but when I'm in the actual process of putting a page together, I don't want to stop my flow and pause and make a journaling card. I just want to grab one that's already done. Um, so that's been really handy to use those. I have been hoarding them because I like them too much, but enough of the hoarding. Time to get our stuff that we actually love in our albums instead of just on a shelf. Like these gold stickers, these are from, mm, testing my memory here, I think they're from Crepe Paper Confetti, which is several years old. Um, I always think of things in houses as to what house I lived in. So they are three houses ago. Uh, and yeah, I think they may even have been pre-Archie and I've been holding on to them for a really long time. I would have probably had about three packs of these and I think I still have... I at least have one unopened still to go um, and it's just time to use them instead of holding on to them. Uh, this is another one of those DIY journaling cards that I made in a previous video and you can see all I had to do was add on my journaling a couple of little embellies and that card was done and that's at the moment I'm really enjoying a quick project life page could be because I'm so behind um, but I do have a project coming up that I'm really hoping will work. Um, and it's a way to catch up on some project life quite quickly and just easily without the fuss. Um, so hopefully that might come out in a few months time if I can get a wriggle on, get ahead with other videos and have some free time to, to film some extra special stuff. Uh, so here we've got the three generations of boys. We've got Aaron and his dad and little Arch. And so I just added, I'm trying to use up my tiny words, uh, tiny letter stickers, sorry, not tiny words, those two, but I'm really trying to use up tiny letters because uh, I know you, you peeps will feel me. I, I have a tendency to spell a couple of titles and then when the letters start to get a little scarce, especially the vowels, I tend to put that letter sticker sheet to the side and grab its friend who has all of its vowels and I need to stop doing that um, and use a use an alphabet sheet until I literally can't spell any more titles and then convert that page into my art journal and use all of the leftover letters as a background or something. So here are Aaron's siblings um, holding little Violet. And if you're an OG Inklet and you've watched our vlog channel, you would have seen these two meet Archie for the first time um, several years ago now. And there's only two years between when they met Violet and when they met Archie. But my gosh, do teenagers grow quickly. They look like different people. 
jazz hands and the ice cream truck is going past my window if you can hear that music in the background uh, but we've finished this page and I hope this page has just given you some inspiration to grab a six by six paper pad if you've got one lying around leave it on your desk for the next month and see how much you can chunk up and also to cut up some of your cutter parts and put them in a container so they're easy to grab all right peeps have a great week and I will see you for another video very soon bye